The state of Florida has many unique characteristics. What is it exactly that makes Florida so special? According to USF College of Marine Science professor Albert Hein, the answer is time. In his new book, Hein outlines the history of how Florida came to be. Hein and his team study the coastline or coastal ocean to determine how Florida formed and what changes affect the viability of the state. What we call the coastal ocean or the continental margin, from a geological perspective, it's the continental margin. I, so I study the margins of, of the continents, continental shells, uh, and, and all the geological features, some of them living, but most of them are non-living, the strata, the geologic features um, of, of the continental margin, from the estuaries out to the base of slope. And that includes reefs, paleo shorelines, the shelf itself, uh, submarine canyons, that kind of thing. So the shallow water, the edge of the ocean, so to speak, is called the coastal ocean. The coastal ocean is enormously complicated because it's pulsed or it's influenced by what's coming off land and it's also pulsed by what's going on in the ocean. So here's this body of water that is kind of in the middle between the open ocean processes, so hurricanes, giant waves, uh, tides, that sort of thing, and, and what's coming off, off the land. It's also important because the, the closest ocean that we live nearby is the coastal ocean. And so three quarters or whatever percentage there is, but most human beings, most seven billion of us on the planet live near the coastal ocean. Seaports are an essential element, and estuaries are an essential element of the coastal ocean. And, and since we have congregated their human history, human beings have congregated and built their cities and built their populations center, centers near the coastal ocean, it becomes important because we affect it, it affects us.